Hello friends, welcome to the Android guy. I am your host Hardik. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, configure, and run Genie Motion Android emulator on your PC. Now this is a full and comprehensive master guide, and this is probably the latest uh, way of installing Genie Motion on your computer. I'll be going through in detail with the entire process, and if you follow my steps properly, in 15 minutes you will be running the most powerful and the best Android emulator on your PC. Now for people who are watching this video, I'm assuming that you already know about what uh, Genie Motion is. But for people who do not know what Genie Motion is, uh, let me give you a brief, brief description. Now guys, Genie Motion is the most powerful and the best Android emulator for a PC. So what it basically does is that it runs application, it runs games and uh, what you can do on your phone, you can just uh, do it on your PC uh, without uh, even going through the entire process of you know buying a phone. All the other uh, so called Android emulator are just simply Android app players. You can only you know play games and you can only run app through that. But through Genie Motion, you can do a whole lot of stuffs. You can change the Android version. You can you know go from gingerbread all the way up to the latest lollipop version. Uh, on top of that, you can just simply drag and drop apps. It will work, and it's just like your cell phone on a computer. So yeah, enough of talking. Uh, let me hit into the full screen mode, and I'll be showing you how to install the app. Let's jump straight into the installation process. Uh, first of all, you will need to download Genie Motion. Uh, now, the link to uh, the uh, official download page is in the description or it will be on the screen. Now, while downloading Genie Motion, make sure that you only download it from the official website. Uh, the link is there in the description. Uh, that way, you will be getting the latest version of Genie Motion. Plus, you will not have any problem while installation. So, uh, just click the first link in the description, you will be straight in this page. Here, you will be having two options. Click on this one over here, Genie Motion, which is 117 MB, uh, the bigger file. Uh, so, click on that. Now, one thing very important is that in order to download Genie Motion and use it, you will need to uh, create an account with uh, Genie Motion. Now, don't worry, guys, it's absolutely free. Genie Motion is free and it will be free forever. Uh, so if you don't have account just simply create an account over here. i have already created uh, created an account with genie motion so i'll be simply entering my in my username and password but if you don't have a genie motion account you can simply create an account just uh, give in your email address so let me quickly enter in uh, my uh, username and sign in and once you sign in with your free account a genie motion will automatically be downloading on your computer now it's a very small file it's only 117 mb so it will not take a lot of time all right friends uh, genie motion is downloaded on my pc uh, as you can see over here it's a uh, uh, it's a standalone installer so there's no complication while uh, installing it on a pc simply double click on the downloaded installer and uh, uh, click next 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 and it will be automatically installed on my PC. I have already installed Genie Motion, so let us uh, go straight into the software. After installing, uh, you will be seeing uh, two icons on your desktop. One will be Genie Motion and other will be Genie Motion Shell. Uh, now you will need to open Genie Motion once it is installed. So double click on Genie Motion. It might take about one minute uh, if you are opening it for the first time. Now once uh, Genie Motion starts, it will ask you uh, to add a virtual drive. Now virtual drive basically means uh, a device uh, virtually added onto your computer which means a virtual mobile phone or a virtual Android device through which you can use Android. Uh, you need to click yes over here. Uh, now over here uh, you will have to sign in first. Now remember we just opened in an account while downloading Genie Motion. Yes, we'll, you will need to uh, enter in your username and password uh, which you used to download Genie Motion. So click on sign in and it will ask you for your username and password. I will quickly enter in uh, my uh, username and password and click on sign in. It will automatically sign you in. Now once you are signed in, uh, you can download any Android version or any uh, Android device which you want on your PC for free. Alright friends, once you have signed in, as I already mentioned, uh, you can download any Android version uh, with any Android device that you want. So now this is a very important part friends, uh, just pay attention. Now over here on the top, you'll have two options. One is Android version and other one is Android device model. Now if you uh, click on Android version, you can see that you can download Android versions from uh, all the way from 2.3.7 which is, which is Android uh, version gingerbread, all the way up to 5.0 which is Android version lollipop. So you can download all of these uh, existing Android versions over here, here and you can use them as your drive. 
uh, well uh, the best uh, probably the best and the most stable version uh, i have used is uh, probably android version 4.3 now don't get me wrong guys android version 5 also works but you know while installing apps and doing certain things it's a little buggy uh, but if you want to uh, download uh, an android version on which you will be running your games and will be testing out uh, a lot of other apps uh, the best android version i'll recommend is either 4.2.2 or 4.4 but if you want to try out the new android version or lollipop you can obviously get the android version 5 uh, but for this video we'll be downloading android version 4.2 so once you click on android version 4 you'll be having all the devices over here which support android version 4 and which are available for downloading as you can see over here they are about 20 devices over here uh, you have uh, tablets you have mobile phones you have uh, devices of different sizes and different resolutions uh, if you want to download a specific device running a specific version uh, to test out your apps on that you can do that but if you're like me who just want to simply play games and you know try out apps or who want to run whatsapp on uh, their pc you can download any uh, device model that doesn't matter but if uh, but you can click on device model and you can select a specific model so we'll be going with uh, let's say stc1 so click on stc1 and then you click on next and once you do that it will automatically download uh, the android version for the specific device and now the android versions are also not that big they are under 200 mb for the most uh, most of them are under 150 mb uh, so yeah i will uh, resume the video once the download is completed now friends once the download of your android version is completed jenny motion will automatically set your virtual drive up for you so you will not have to do anything uh, other than simply download your android version and once that is done uh, your uh, virtual drive will be visible over here uh, just simply double click on it in order to open it it will initialize the virtual drive and it will automatically start it and now it might take about one minute or so uh, to start your uh, virtual drive so the virtual drive has opened now it practically resembles uh, like an android device uh, the dimensions and everything is similar to the android device as you can see it already started uh, you get a demo over here click ok and there you have your android running on your pc L let me give you an overall walkthrough of uh, the Jenny Motion android device let us minimize this now as you can see uh, let me open it in big screen as you can see guys uh, it resembles a lot like an android device itself uh, the dimensions and designs you can use your mouse uh, buttons uh, to scroll around uh, you can uh, click to open and on top of that uh, it's very smooth and it's very fast it's very responsive and everything is working as it is uh, other than that uh, you can also use uh, the keyboard uh, for instance if you want to type something for instance if you want to type something uh, you can use keyboard and you can type uh, and uh, above all even the uh, browser also works as you just saw other than that uh, now everything is fine everything is just like an android device but the only problem with Jenny Motion has is that the stock rom or the android version that you download uh, doesn't comes with Google Play Store installed or doesn't comes with uh, Google uh, network and Google uh, stuff on it now it's an optional thing but other than that you can simply uh, just drag and drop apps on it and it will still work but a lot of apps which require google play store will not work so in the second part of the video i will showing you how to set up google play store on it so that you can uh, run games uh, you can download uh, uh, apps from google play store and i will be also showing you some extra tricks which you can use on Jenny Motion. so yeah uh, click the link in the description to watch the second part of the video uh, the link will be also on your screen so that's about it guys i'm the android guy signing up do uh, watch the second part of the video Take care friends, bye bye.